Back live in vivo. Gary Mazarov, Gustavo Farrell, Jose Cruz. Guatemala City, what a beautiful location for a racquetball event, lifetime sport. Here we are, the 37th opportunity for the Pan American Racquetball Championships. Danielle Maggi, here's a telltale. Maggi is our head ref. Danny's about 46 years old. I met him when he was 12. <laughs> he was playing, I was coaching Argentina. He was a junior on their national team. Yeah. And it's great to have him here. He That's got in late last night. So, Perron. Iwasa. Iwasa. Hit it harder, Kobe. Against Sabatiera and Martinez. Oh, my. What a great way to start. Get out of the way, Art. <laughs> Playing three out of five. First to win three sets, three games to 11 points. Rally scoring. Good pass on the right side, Baran. Another anecdote, Gustavo. Kobe in two months, I believe, will have his license to be a professional chiropractor in Canada. That's impressive. Yes, it is. He's been playing a lot of years as well. He took that three-year sabbatical for uh, Latter-day Saints about six years ago. Who knows, that might have helped his career. Unforced error by Sabatiera. As Gusava said, First to 11, win by two, best of five sets. Rally scoring. Ball's in play. Ball came below the red out of court line, up above there. Doce pies, la raya roja. Pegó por abajo. Se juega. Nice. Martinez. Return a serve kill with that forehand. So it's a handout and a point for the receiving team. Hit it harder, to <laughs> Kobe. Hit it harder, Kobe. So we would equate his pace with whom? Eh, Señor Jaime Mancilla. Mancilla. Si le pega fuerte. Los dos le pega muy fuerte. Mucha potencia. Right there. Yeah. Kobe ends the rally with his backhand near side pinch. 4-2, game one. Cinco dos. Cinco dos. 5-2. He called it short. No appeals. You can appeal to your opponents or opponent, opposition, the team, but uh, no formal appeals till the quarters. Good hands. Ball. Piso, de parte de Martínez, tiempo. Un minuto, nos quedamos acá con ustedes. Queremos agradecer a nuestros sponsors en este 37avo campeonato panamericano acá en la ciudad de Guatemala, Guatemala. A Gearbox, por las raquetas, las pelotas. Eh, un excelente, excelente agrego al, al, al juego, esa pelota Gearbox, dura mucho, bota bien, se ha regresado el juego del techo a lo que era en los 70, este deporte. Gracias, Rafael Filippini, Tam CEO of Gearbox. También este, al racket internacional, Osvaldo Maggi, su equipo de administradores, árbitros, de, en este evento seis países, ¿correcto, Gary? Sí. También al, al equipo de Guatemala, la asociación guatemalteca, Estuardo Ware, nuestro nuevo presidente del PARC, que viene siendo presidente de la Asociación Panamericana de Racket por los siguientes cuatro años. También a Sport Courts from Colorado Springs. Thank you. Thank you, Luke San Ange, Keith Hawkins. Very nice to have you guys watching.
Thanks for your input. So an empty timeout from Guatemala. No change in the momentum. Canada comes in and scores 7-2 in game one. Wrap around. Perron. Martinez. See ya. That ball cleared the red line. La Línea Roja. 12 feet from the floor. Anything above that line is out of play. If the ball were to bounce and clear it, it would be a replay. Kobe's not letting up. That off. Nice rally, touch. Yeah, rally ending forehand into the right corner. Primer día de ocho acá en los Panamericanos. Juego en grupos. Piso. Ahora acá, Martínez sirviendo. Va a servir a la, al lado derecho más seguro. A la canadiense. La hermana mayor de Gabi, Gabriela Martínez. Eh, además, she's a dentista. She's practicing dentistry here in Guatemala City. Muy buen tiro de Iwasa. Crack, left side. Miss hit, another miss hit. Point, Canada. Game point, Canada. Take it away, Gustavo. Thank you, Gary. I expected a little more from Team Guatemala, Salvatierra in particular. I thought he was uh, a little bit down. Uh, you know, maybe they'll, they'll come back, they'll talk to their coach. Yeah, we're gonna stay here. We're gonna, no, we're gonna stay here. Uh, I agree with you. I, I look for them to uh, uh, amp it up a little bit. I, the difference is Kobe's pace on the serve. Uh, a lesser player than Salvatierra would not be able to handle it. He's handling it but he, and trying to neutralize it going up top. But uh, also second um, important note is Kobe's partner, Perrin, on the right side, few unforced errors she's holding her own Very that's true. that's the difference Very let's true. see if it changes in uh, the second set pocos errores de parte del equipo canadiense y la velocidad de la pelota que le está pegando Iwasa no la puede controlar Salvatierra vamos a ver ahora regresando en este segundo set si cambian las cosas es el primer día de juego para todos los jugadores entonces no tienen la excusa de estar cansados de haber jugado muchos partidos porque acaban de empezar Vamos a ver, vamos a ver si cambia el, el juego ahora. Estamos viendo al presidente Estuardo Weir ahí. No se ve muy preocupado. Se ve muy tranquilo. Muy tranquilo. Demasiado ver, tranquilo. Ver, ver, ¿dónde? <laughs> uh, he'll be joining us in Chicago for uh, the 40th year of World Senior Racquetball, presented by the National Masters Racquetball Association, 25 through 28. July in the Chicago area, Lombard at the Glass Court, the iconic court club in the Chicago area. Should be a lot of fun. Great serve. Nice Reverse serve, seat. Martinez. There we go. Canada coached by Evan Prichard and Reno. Reno only has one name. And Sabatiera El Mayor coaching Guatemala. Mucha fuerza. Sí, sí, es muy difícil hacer algo con esa pelota que viene a esa velocidad. Especialmente para Martínez. Uno iguales. Ball down. Kill shot. Ahora, ahora mira, mira este servicio. Cada vez que sirve, yo pienso que Martínez le va a pegar. Vas a ver. Y 
Ball live for Kobe, takes the forehand. Wow. How's that spelled, by the way? Spelled the same both ways. Ida y vuelta, no? Yeah. Great serves. So thus far in game two anyway, Martinez not able to negotiate good returns on that power serve by Perron. Another point for Canada. 4-1. Servicio a Martinez de nuevo. Ahí, viste, le pegó. Dead Pos ball hinder. Para mí que pudiera ser un evitable, Gary, porque está eh, en la línea a esta esquina, ¿no? Sí. La esquina opuesta. Desde que empezó está eh, cruza, tirando... Eh, cruzado. Cruzado, sí, cruzado. Great serve. Great serve, Gustavo. It's like batting practice. She's home run after home run. Boom, 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 boom. What can Martinez do to change this? Maybe move up, take it out of the air. Well, or rely on Kobe skipping the ball in. Punto para Guatemala ahí. 5-2, segundo servidor. Safety hold up. Menos mal que no le pegó. Punto, 6-2. Whiteable hinder. Great return to serve. Handcuffed the Uno. young lady from Canada. Uno de los pocos errores que comete Parron. She made up for it there, Gustavo. Great return. I'm impressed the way she's playing. We, we know how Kobe can play. 3-7, está jugando muy bien la canadiense. Controlled return to serve by Kobe. She put her hand up, she wanted a visual hinder, didn't get it. Kobe right side. There it is. Soft hand, soft touch. Side wall, front wall combo winner. Also known as a pinch. Potencia. Mucha potencia. Nueve sirviendo tres en este segundo set. Tres set de cinco tiempo. Toma Guatemala. Mejor usar el tiempo que no. Vamos a un breve comercial. And Evans. My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just... I've always loved how Gearbox has felt, and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. And we're live back, Gary. Gustavo and Jose. Court Central here, Dobles Mixtos, where Team Canada has been, continues to be in total control, Gustavo. 11-3 uh, in the first set, and they lead 9-3 in the second. Yo esperaba más partido del equipo guatemalteco, pero la verdad los canadienses han jugado muy bien. Tanto Kobe que se esperaba y la señorita Parron, muy efectiva, muy pocos errores de parte de ella. Game point number one here in the second set. Kobe backhand. Perron. 
Kobe again. There it is. Soft touch, backhand, side wall, front wall combo. Two games to zero in favor of Canada. Vamos a un breve comercial. Estamos con ustedes en dos minutos. Estamos en vivo. We're back live again. Gary, Gustavo, and Jose. Game number three here. Doubles. Mixed doubles. Canada and Guatemala. Canada enjoys a 2-0 lead. We're playing under the set of rules for international racquetball. Go to internationalracquetball.com, folks, for your own set. Print them out. I believe it's 21 pages the rules and there's a host of differences between IRF and US and Canada and the Pro Tours. Shortly we'll describe some of those differences. 2-0. Canada on the board right away. Pan Am Sports Channel International Racquetball Facebook and YouTube. We'll be streaming all week, eight days. This is the first day of streaming, group competition. Primer día de nuestra competencia. Impresionante. Martinez right side rolls it out. Dos. That's tough. Wallpaper ball by Perron. Uno de nuestros espectadores en Facebook, la hermana de, de Martínez, Gaby, está Gaby. viendo con nosotros. Hola, Gaby. Loose Z attempt by Salvatierra. It cost him. Kobe rolled it out. Gustavo, doubles and singles are two different animals. It, doubles is wonderful. You have to communicate. It could be 50-50. It could be 90-10. The important thing is that you communicate with your partner. You know the strengths and weaknesses of each. Limit your unforced errors. You're going to have success. I'm not sure how, how many times these uh, young folks have played together, but the Canadian team has communicated very well throughout this match. 5-3, Canada sirve.
Nice. Buen right toque. In, right in to the suitcase of Iwasa. Soft hands. Drop that ball with his backhand winner. That was a great shot by Perron. It's like a chess game, folks. You don't want to try and end every rally right away. Unforced error, sí. Canada. Uno de los pocos errores no forzado por parte de Parron. Y ahí casi le saca la cabeza este, Kobe a la señorita Martínez. Menos mal que se agachó. Otro Skip piso. Es un... In enticing Perron to, to shoot the ball, which she did. She put it in the floor, 5-6. Comes back, same serve. Goes up top, conservative there. Good call. To Kobe, wide angle. That's impressive. Bien, por parte de Salvatierra, eh? respondió. Empate. Igual es seis en este tercer set. Estamos can, jugando. can Guatemala force game four? The answer is yes. Will they? That's the question of the day. But it's tied at six. Up top. Skip ball. They forge ahead. Will Canada call a timeout? Looking in the uh, gallery. Evan Prichard, head coach, notating in his book, and guess what? He called a timeout. He notated the timeout. That's it. Good call. Let's see if it's effective. Vamos a ver. Ahí ven que el entrenador de Guatemala, Ernesto Ochoa, de México, no entra a la cancha, no puede entrar a la cancha. Este, los jugadores pueden salir de la cancha en este tiempo. Tiene un minuto. Es el único tiempo que tiene cada equipo por set y yeah. As Gustavo said the coach may not enter the court one exception is if there's an emergency on the court allow them to enter an injury something unforeseen But he needs to maintain his position outside the court as he as Gustavo said the players may leave the court during the timeout and as we resume play Guatemala enjoys a one-point lead, 7-6 in the third set. They find themselves with a two-set deficit, 0-2. Martinez, Delon. Nobody home. Buen tiro de parte de Kobe. No sé si lo hizo a propósito, pero le salió perfecto. Bottom line economics, it worked. Nikola, it's a great serve, good return. Kobe up front with the forehand. That's impressive. Hey. Handcuffed Martinez, took it second bounce at the vidrio in the back. Vuelve. A estar marcador arriba, 8-7, Canadá. Another, so the question is, did she, was it a bloqueo? Did she block the cross court? So the answer, according to Maji, is no. That'll be a replay, first serve. I've been watching that return of serve from the first point, and I, Martinez has every right to take that shot Absolutely. if it's cross court. But the angle is better seen by our official as to whether or not it's an avoidable or, or just a safety hold up. Great get by Perron. Good coverage both sides. Left up, nobody home right side, Gustavo. Kobe smiling. He knows if he had it again, he'd do something different. 8-8, eight, eight, empate, third set. He tried to drop it in, but Salvatierra was right there. Well played. Good rally. Hit it harder, Kobe. 
Oh my. Guatemala, two points from forcing a fourth set. IRF rules, scoring mechanism is different than the US. Best of five sets, 11 points, rally scoring, win by two. That ball cleared the back wall on a fly. Loss of rally by Team Guatemala. Handout and point scored for the receiving team. So it's another tie at nine. Different twist there coming to the ladies' side, right? So, wow. That, that's es raro, no? It's rare that you're going to find an ace serve off of a, a law, but he did it. Perfecto. Game point number one, Guatemala. Salvatierra. There it is. Guatemala closes out game number three. They force a fourth set. Take it away, Gustavo. What can I say? I, I'm glad to see that Team Guatemala finally opened their eyes and said we can play with this exactly. Canadian exactly. team. Acá están. Están jugando como deberían jugar. Este, yo creo que esto se puede ir a cinco sets tranquilamente, ahora que ya tienen confianza que pueden jugar con este equipo canadiense. Así que vamos a ver qué pasa en este cuarto set cuando regresamos con ustedes en, en un minuto. Gracias, José. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRC with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. Welcome back everyone. Gary, Gustavo and Jose. We're back at Court Central here in Guatemala City at the Beautiful Complejo Municipal. Ten courts. Mixed doubles. Ball down. This game four. Two sets for Canada, one set for Guatemala. First day of competition, group play. Juego en grupos. Estos primeros tres días. Sábado, domingo, lunes. Después vamos a la sembrada. Tres días. Y los últimos dos días, viernes, sábado, juego en equipo. 2-0. I call that a statement forehand from Kobe. Snaps right in the middle of the court. Two bounces immediately. Uncontested. Sometimes best shots are miss hits. I don't think uh, Baron heard it. She didn't hear it come off the racket, didn't uh, know where it was, it was going. It was a Jack Kramer wood, wood shot. Great shot. Hit her harder, Kobe. Ballon. Martinez. Kobe. Double digits. There it is. Perron, right side, ends the rally with a forehand kill. Nicely done. Se veía que le iba a tirar 
la pelota ahí al lado derecho de la cancha porque de este lado estaba Salvatierra y Martínez estaba atrás de ella. Great return of serve. That was a pretty good serve. Better return. 2-3. As we mentioned earlier, 10 countries here in the Pan Am Championships. World Championships, the racquetball by annual event will be in August. San Antonio, Texas, first time since 96, 1996, it's in the US. Kobe left side, nobody home. Impressive. Right down the left side glass. Six countries represented by our pro referees, all in this hemisphere. Oh, wow. He got fooled there, Gustavo, but he, he was able to adjust. They got a break. Ball skipped in. Cinco sirviendo dos. Vamos a ver si, si otra vez Martínez le va a pegar a esta chica. Oh, handcuffed Martínez right side. Somebody might say, well, why don't you let it go? Well, when the ball's traveling the better part of 200 miles per hour, you don't have that opportunity. Nothing more, you're protecting your, yourself. Another skip, unforced error, Martinez, timeout coming. Tiempo, Guatemala. We'll stay here, Jose. A little recap of today. Empezamos a las 10 de la mañana. El streaming, gracias a Pablo Fajere y su equipo. Uh, Rafa Gatica, José Cruz, acá de esta... Gracias, José, por tu esfuerzo. Un privilegio. Conocerte, estar trabajar contigo, contigo acá. Pogar arriba. Gustavo, myself, we've been doing this for many years together. And every, every event is its own adventure. It's, it's a new environment. It has its own personality, if you will. Even though we've been here a number of times, eaten, Different, different environment, lovely, lovely. And, and the city of Guatemala. I do have to say the uh, organization of the event having taken place within a quick two months. Yes. Uh, in January is when it was announced it was coming here. Yeah. They've done an exceptional job. Uh, the IRF, the organizing committee, Adrian Macrino with all the uh, connections, Mauro, Grandio, and of course, Ovaldo Maggi. Fantastic job you guys have done. Luke and Keith paved the way to where we are today. Thank you, folks. So here we go. 7-2, Canada serving, game of four. No call. Legal serve. Martinez will not appeal to her opponent, asking them for a short serve. <laughs> I think they all wanted to say short. But Danny, Danny said it was illegal serve, legal, legal. Martinez right side, Beron right side. That's impressive. Buena bola. Tiro so. al lado derecho de la cancha, pegado a la pared. Very effective timeout. They came back, scored two points. They have the serve. Will they force a tiebreak? Great shot. Wallpaper ball in favor of Guatemala. Now it's cinco siete. Nice. Juanito Salvatierra. Lindo toque. 6-7. Salvatierra al lado izquierdo. 
Del lado del cristal. Martinez has found a serve. Effective serve, high Z lob, reverse right side. Kobe takes it. Ball's not down, no call. Handcuff Martinez, great shot by Canada. When the players are raising their hands, they're obviously notating something, but they should not stop play. So that was an avoidable hinder. Remember, it's doubles. Either player on the receiving team may come over anywhere on the court. You have to give both players an opportunity to move to the ball and strike it. Kobe, thank you, Kobe, for letting up. Great call by Maji. That's an avoidable hinder. Failure to move. That's a good learned call for our viewers, even for those players that have played a long time. I think they know all the rules. You always learn something. I always learn something. Absolutely. Kobe. Juanito. Oh, nice touch. Martinez caught back, back court. If he would have hit it harder, Martinez would have been able to get a racket on it, would have gotten back to her. Match point. Corta. Match point number one for Canada. Good get. Martinez. There it is. Reverse attempt by Martinez stayed up. Kobe drops the ball with his backhand into the left corner. Bottom line, Canada, three sets to one. Guatemala, one set. And Gustavo, we've completed our seventh match today. We start again 10 in the morning. That's Rocky Mountain daylight time in the States. I want to thank our viewers for joining us. We trying to provide you an assortment of different types of matches from men's singles, doubles, mixed, uh, mixed doubles. And I think you're gonna continue to see that throughout the week again. This is day one of the competition. Day two tomorrow, starting 10 a.m. Empezamos de vuelta mañana, a las 10 de la mañana, in Facebook, en este YouTube. Pan Am Sports está transmitiendo el, el, de, el evento. Eh, también eh, lo estamos viendo acá localmente en, en otros Facebook. Agradecemos mucho la participación de nuestros sponsors. Gary. And thank you to the empleados here, keeping a safe and clean environment. They're, they're on it all day long. They were here this morning. They're here late afternoon. They'll be here in the morning again. Thank you to Dr. Ware and his staff, Osvaldo and his staff. And uh, thank you to you and Jose and Farhe and uh, Rafa from Chile. Great production staff. Tune in tomorrow, folks. Buenas noches.